Good evening everybody, welcome to another edition of Beer Dad, with me the Beer Dad, I hope I find you well. Now today we are going to review a um, beer that I've not had before and a brewery that I've not um, heard of until fairly recently and that is the Magic Rock Brewing Company out of Huddersfield, uh, Yorkshire in the UK. Um, but on their website, their website is brilliant, they're, they're good, they're good, really informative, loads of pictures, loads of loads of stuff I'll put again as I usually do in the description a link to the website and they were established in 2011 um, by two brothers uh, Richard and Johnny uh, Bearhouse and their pay um, Stuart Ross who was the, uh, the head brewer um, 2012 they were rated second best new brewery in the world by ratebeer.com um, Looking at the website, that says that they are committed to making a full range of modern and flavorful beers using the finest ingredients and the uh, finest and best ingredients and techniques. Um, they have a core range of beers. Um, they have Inhaler, which is a juicy pale ale, weighs in a four and a half. They have Hattrick, which is a Cessna, which is 3.7. They have uh, one called Ringmast, which is 3.9. That's a pale ale. Um, they have Salty Kiss, which is a 4.1 fruit-infused Goss, I assume, or Gosse, G-O-S-E. Um, they have um, High Wire, which is a 5.5 uh, West Coast Pale Ale. Um, Dark Arts, 6.6% Stout. Cannonball, 7.4 IPA. Rapture, a 4.6 Red Hop Ale. And then the one that we're going to review today which is this high wire grapefruit grapefruit infused pale ale and this weighs in at where are we where are we where are we 5.5 um there's not a lot on the back um it says ingredients water barley hops yeast and grapefruit which you would assume seeing this got the word grapefruit on the front um and the address and that's probably about it um, it's a 1.8 units now. I quite like the can. I bought this again at Chester Beer and Wines. And um, the can is great. The high wire or the only high wire is the same can but in blue. So I'll be looking out for that one to review as well. But that is just great. It feels, it looks for me like an American ale. But it's not. It's actually from Huddersfield. Anyway, um, this is packed with malts and hops. And there's acidulated hops, there's uh, Golden Promise, uh, Munich and Vienna um, malts. Hop wise, you've got, let's see, top of my head, you've got Cascade, uh, Centennial, Chinook, Citrus, Columbus, and Magnum all thrown into this one little, little itty bitty can. Um, so, let's have a little go. Now, straight up the bat of the year the opening, and straight away I got a hit of the orange and the grapefruit and the citrus a little bit of tangerine anyway that's straight off the nose so let's have a little look what it pours like now I've had this in my fridge for a couple of days so we'll be forgiven for a bit of a uh, fridge haze but there isn't any put a, put a light through it there we, there we are so it's a bit hazy it's not too bad well, half a finger of head dissipated quite nicely, but it's bright white, lots of little bubbles in it. Stick a nose in. Straight away, there's tangerines, there's oranges, there's grapefruit. Then there's the malt, a little bit of caramel, um, honey, honey sweetness. It smells delicious. Let's put the best of it in here. This might be the first one you see me drink live all the way through. So it's just not a bad well, finger ahead of the whole can. Not too bad. Let's get a nose in. Let's have a bit of a taste. Cheers, everybody. Oh, 
Ooh, that's very good. <coughs> oh, it's sweet. It's sort of slightly bitter, a bit sour. It's fruity though, which is really good. <coughs> I think it's dry hopped at the end with the grapefruit. Uh, that pack's there, that's there. The card is not very, it's not very fizzy, nice little carbonation to it. I um, It's very, very drinkable. It's clean. Refre very refreshing. Nice little for a, a summer, summer's day. Drinking outside. Because that's the list. Well, that's not too bad. It's really, really good. Um, if we compare it to the likes of Elvis Juice, which is a great fruit infused drink, Elvis Juice packs a bit of a lot up, but this is subtle. That bitter finish there is lovely. <coughs> it smells the part, tastes the part, and leaves the bitter dryness, which is fantastic. Good job, Magic Rock. Good, good job. Keep doing this. This is really good. Again, I've not just seen this out in any shops anywhere, only in sort of the craft ale shops. So I would imagine you'd be able to pick that up at all. I know you can get it in Chester Beer and Wines, 19 Charles Street in Chester. I'm assuming you'd be able to pick this up also in the Ship in the Bottle, <coughs> which is on Victoria Street in Liverpool. And you may be able to get it in the Crosby Wine Shop, which is up in Blood on the Sands. But I'm not sure if I've not been in there yet. Um, this is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, eight and a half out of ten for me. I do have a touch more grapefruit, a little less um, orangey tangerine, but hey ho, this is absolutely delicious. Oh, very nice. Could drink a lot of that really, really easily. Clean, crisp, that bitter finish is just excellent. Right on the back of your throat, citrus is there. Take your first gulp, the grapefruit ketchup, and it leaves that bitter dry right at the end, which makes you want more and more and more. If that was in a bigger bottle, that would be a 10. If that was a 500ml bottle, that'd be a 10. Well, it's not, so it's only an 8. But again, very good. And uh, that's me done. Another one in the bag. Um, if you like if you've seen this if you see this for the first time watch me for the first time please subscribe if you don't like me then don't bother watching me again um, follow me on twitter the underscore b underscore dad instagram be dad 22 if you've already subscribed thank you very much for your continued support and you're you watching me i really do appreciate it um buy this tell me what you think if you like it tell me if you don't like it tell me if you don't like it excuse me throw it down the sink and you know there to me but that is quality. So, Haley Ale.